Welcome back everybody to Monday and we're just going to call this show iNodes because I now know what an iNode is and I had no idea what one was about, I don't know. I was disappointed to discover it was not those little creatures that was it China or India left behind on the moon. Yeah. Little jumping creature things. Yeah, and unfortunately to everybody who's now confused or whatever, you can please feel free to Google them and you will educate yourself <laughs> much like I have. Um, we ran into yeah. a problem on the sites or both sites, plural, where we are in fact out of iNodes. Um, which has ramifications. You may have noticed we haven't updated much today. Yeah, I mean, po posts should still go out and everything. It's just some images-related problem and our developers working on it. And yeah, hopefully... the problem is I have a 15-image post to put up, and yeah, it's not working. Spoiler, so. it's, it's not, it's not going to go up. Actually, you could do it. Um, no, I can't. <laughs> well, you could just <laughs> post the images a... somewhere else. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's not impossible. It's just... I'll put them on Petri. Am I yeah. missing something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so um, Paul, do you remember? Do you remember on um, Friday I was having a, a slight internetwork transfer problem? Yes, I'm glad. Okay, I'm happy to say I do remember mm -hmm. that. I was literally just going to say there's no way I remember anything from last week, but actually, <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, knock on wood here. I think I got it fixed. At least late yesterday, late yesterday, late on Friday, I was able to transfer a file at about um, 700 megabytes per second, which yeah, on a gigabyte. Put, I think that, you put that on Twitter or something. Yeah. All right. So I didn't see the next, an explanation for this. Because I was holding off until today because it's, Neat. Um, it's brilliant. I, at least I, what I think is the challenge mm -hmm. is fixed. Mm -hmm. I am pretty sure I was having an IP address conflict. Really? On yep. your home network? Yep. And, um, wow. I, do you well, have a, let me put so you must way. have one device that somehow is manually grabbing an IP address. I I don't know. Um, huh. All but let me let me explain what I did to fix it. Sort of. Okay. Is that I went to the two computers that are connected to the network. I flushed the IP addresses using a PowerShell command that I randomly found on the internet, <laughs> and um, it did not download malware. It in fact flushed the IP addresses and reset them for the machines. And it as soon as I did that on both machines. Fixed. So it's like so, a what do you call it? Like a DHCP release yeah, or something. Or... Something like that. And yeah. And instantly. Until I go try to transfer works. this file and then it doesn't work again. So what were you you hmm. so you were what kind of transfer speeds were you seeing before? Prior to doing it? Yeah. Like kilobytes per second. Kilobytes. Like, and then it went up to seven hundred mega megabytes. megabytes. Roughly it Quick math, roughly about, the speed of wireless. Oh no, you're what you're wired. It's wired. It was getting about seventy five percent of the wired of connection gig. speed, which is yeah, perfectly yep. fine. I mean, it yep. transferred a gig file in like thir thirteen yeah, seconds right, or something. Right, right, right. So really quick. Uh, wi Fi max out at these days, probably half that or something. Or yeah, I'm sure. I, Plus, I it's know. a it's a less uh, a less good you know quality connection as well. Mm -hmm. But that's All right, what well, it's good. Until I decide to rewire the house with Cat Six and go ten gig, yeah, gigabit uh, connections, which that's not going to happen. I mean, that's honestly, I thought I was going to be wiring this house when I moved here, mm -hmm. and uh, after we spent tens of thousands of dollars on basic electricity, I was like, eh, we can go wireless. <laughs> you know, we can yeah. we can make it. I work. can I can handle you know I can handle a wire a wire yeah. wireless thing, yeah. but I w I wouldn't mind having a few more wired connections in here. But... Yeah, because why not? Um ruin your evenings and afternoons crawling through. every time the electrician uh, walks to my door you hear the sound of a cash register you know <laughs> yeah other things that are happening um samsung for reasons that it feels is necessary is building a 108 megapixel sensor for the camera because storage as we all learned is not uh, really a problem they've probably got a whole bunch <laughs> of inodes in there that are just floating around free I think, uh, oh boy, I'm not going to remember the name of the company, but uh, Show, Xiaomi maybe or Oppo, mm -hmm. one of those companies was talking about a, what, a 48 megapixel sensor? Something like that. Something like that. And then you're saying that Samsung is talking about a 108. So this is just the megahertz wars for cameras. Yeah. The thing is, is that they're not getting in, I might be incorrect, but I'm pretty sure I'm right here. Like the problem is, is the sensors aren't getting any bigger. Right, that's that's yeah, what you need. You um, need more light. You need more area. It needs to be full right. frame. Bigger like pixels, the... basically, would make yeah. a big difference, and that's one of the things that Apple has done. So when people mm -hmm. look at the iPhone and they wonder why they've had the same basic resolution, what they're not understanding is that Apple's actually gone with bigger pixels as well, and and that lets mm -hmm. in more light, you know, and so forth, and higher quality pictures. 
Yeah, I, I don't think um, I don't think adding megapixels is the issue. I mean, if you look at you know really nice camera photo, uh, uh, smartphone photos, say that mm -hmm. I mean the quality is there. Yeah, I think some of the things we need are more optical zoom. You know. Uh, better image processing capabilities, although that's certainly come a long way. I mean, I'm not I'm not really sure I understand what the point of this is. Yeah, I. It's um, yeah, I, I think it's just a one. I like Samsung loves to do stuff like this. This is like the old Microsoft playbook. Oh, you you get two. Oh, we're gonna have three. Yeah, just add add a few more razors to it. Add a few more. <laughs> right, it's There's like razor blade exactly. Yep. Yep. And then uh, the only other kind of thing of quasi interest but this i don't know it's just more stickers intel's project athena they're going to have a new sticker to put on the laptop to designate that it's part of that yeah. for engineered for mobile performance this very much reminds me of the centrino stickers they used to have like an intel duke core they probably have a v pro sticker as well you know because mm -hmm. with what people are looking for are more stickers yes yes you ever like actually try to peel one of those things off a laptop have you ever injured a fingernail <laughs> trying to pry one of those things off it's terrible pretty much pretty much that's um yeah i mean it's a relatively quiet weekend around i think right not a whole yeah, lot i mean God. people are getting their apple credit card which i still don't understand <laughs> I, it's the most apple product that apple it, has it ever is. released you know it's not even like really their product and let's just be honest like it's it's their I front know, end people listen it has an apple logo on it people love it I mean, this is like the highest bar you can get to being uh, completely overwhelmed by the Apple ecosystem. Because can you imagine yeah. being having an Apple card and then trying to switch to Android? I, yeah, no, I, no like, one is switching to Android. Right? They're buying an Apple, getting an Apple card so they can buy more Apple products. You know, it's um, it's the ultimate sign of faith. It's the equivalent of putting on those sneakers and going with the cult to the top of the mountain. You know, it's it's good. <laughs> um, I was just I trying know. to think if there I mean the only way you could get like deeper into the ecosystem is if your mortgage was through Apple which they right, have the cash right. flow and the it's only the, a matter of time the, yeah I, you know, you know mortgage by Apple and sure. then you they're are not going to offer really good terms but it's going to have an Apple logo on it yeah you get a free Apple watch when you close though yes <laughs> exactly exactly yeah God love them. I don't mind. I, I'm not. I, we're joking about this. I, I think both of us agree. This is. It's a good product for them. It's. It's. Sure. It's fine. You know. I, it's. It may not be for us. It may not mm -hmm. be for most people listening to this. I hope. Um, but, I understand why it exists. I get it. It's fine. It's. Fine. Yeah. It, it's. It, it's not. It's not objectionable. Like a one thousand dollar monitor stand, for example. Right. Yeah, and their interest rates appear to be okay. The rewards aren't great or whatever, but it's designed to be a card yeah. for everybody. It is also made out of metal. Titanium. It is, of course it is. Of course it is. Yeah, it's all the, all the leftover material from those PowerBook G4s that nobody. That <laughs> still would be using. that would be amazing if they said mm -hmm. they come out in their event. You're like, now where we got all that metal? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. We, we it's all the returns we took on those things. Oh man. Then I mean, I, I guess we're gonna get some plastic door stops when they melt down all the keyboards <laughs> that are coming back in. I am seriously, I, you know, I came home from my trip and I uh, brought a couple of machines back up and one of them, mm -hmm. of course, was the MacBook Air. And now that there are rumors that Apple, I, maybe they're not even, they're very substantial rumors, right? Mm -hmm. uh, rumors, maybe not a good word, but Apple is clearly moving away from this keyboard. They're going to put regular yep. keyboards back in their computers. And I'm seriously considering getting rid of this thing. Before like the market I, I collapses just, on, yeah, tainted. And apparently, in a very lucky move, because I paid a, I, I paid a lot of money for this thing. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, I, I guess there are some um, improvements in, or some advantages to this machine based on the one that replaced it. The storage is faster, or something, or whatever. Yeah. So it, it hasn't completely devalued yet. You know, like the Venezuelan currency. Oh, but my um, God. <laughs> I don't know. My, I'm a little. Still. You know, we haven't pissed any countries off in a while, so. Uh... <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking about getting rid of it. I don't know. You know what's going to become a collector's item in like 50 years? It's going to be the first generation of these keyboards. They're going to be yeah. called like pre-membrane MacBook Pro. Oh, yeah. No, it's going to be a working version mm -hmm. of a butterfly keyboard will be worth like $100,000. You know, it's like yep. the when you see like an Apple One sold mm -hmm. at auction, you know, it's going to be like that. 
the unicorn. Yeah. My daughter would like a unicorn. <laughs> uh, right. Well, so. this kind of unicorn is... Yeah. You got anything else for today, Mr. Paul, throughout on this? Uh, Monday no, Monday. I mean, I'll, I'll have a laptop, a laptop uh, first impressions article up if I can ever post to the site again. Um, and I'll just, I mean, I'll keep working on stuff. I, I, mm. I'll post some, I, I'll post a couple of newsy type things where I don't have to use uh, a new piece of art, <laughs> I mm. guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully we can solve this today. I when I when this first happened, I thought this is cool. They'll just reset the server. This happens mm -hmm. from time to time. It's fine. It did seem a little slow over the weekend. Yep, really which is related. Anymore. That's very much related. Yeah, but I noticed it, and I thought, well, you know, whatever. These things happen. I'm not going to worry about this. And um, yeah, now it seems like it's a little more serious. But hopefully, we can get on top of it today. Yeah. Well, we'll see what uh, happens here on the hold home front. So everybody else, thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you back here tomorrow, provided our inodes keep um, inoding. Inoding. <laughs> yep.